been meaning to make this video for like ages because this happened in December so my bad so a few months ago I was lucky enough to get tickets to see um, the recording of two episodes of series 4 of Cabin Pressure in London okay, and I was like mega excited to go because I really love Cabin Pressure and it was you know being able to travel to London is always exciting <laughs> I travelled down to Reading to see my friend Chloe and the next day we travelled into London and we had to get those trains and get up really early and got lost several times. We're at Waterloo right now and we've got to get like one more train but hopefully we can get it in time and won't. The thing is is that we were supposed to get off at the last stop but then we didn't. Basically I think we missed our stop mm -hmm. so we've got, it's about half nine now and we've got to get there. 410 hopefully. So say hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. We were kind of worried because um, the other recordings had way too many people and people have had to get turned away. Luckily we were there early enough that we got in. So <laughs> shall <laughs> I'm videoing, not filming, so now are you doing that? <laughs> Damn you! So where, where are we going? Wait a second, I've got to put my video for some. Uh, <laughs> so where are we? My hair was. Oh, we are in the queue. For cabin pressure. Here's the queue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's about the people in front of us. It's just like three people. <laughs> we had to wait a couple of hours in the cold in December um, before we could go in. But fortunately, there were other people in the queue we could talk to and we had cookies and stuff, so the time went really quickly. Look who's going in! Yeah. Inside and warm, so it was a lot better. I'm ridiculously excited right now. Shaking a lot. It's about an hour. So we're all coming in here and then it's just really like afternoon. But it's warm, so that's the same. I can sort of feel my feet again. I'm regaining strength in my feet. Yep, that's where we go in over there. for obvious reasons but here's where we were. It's a really small audience and then there's like that. I mean that's really close. That's like how many rounds are for me? Five. What? On oh, no, a we're on the set. Yeah, five rows up. Oh my god. episodes, um, Vadus, Vadus, I can't remember, and Wokingham, and they were both really funny, as always, um, it was really cool seeing them having to, like, act it out, because obviously you don't usually see that, and, um, the, what I really liked was when the actors messed up, like, um, Benedict in particular kept swearing, um, and there was one point where he had to be, like, picked up and swung around in the air, which all of the audience enjoyed quite a lot. Afterwards, we were able to just go on stage and meet some of the people, like, um, I got to meet John Finnamore and I told him how brilliant everything was, a, a joke that I'm sure he probably got really bored of by the end of the night. And of course I got to see the, um, the magnificent Anthony Head, which was really cool. Uh, Roger Allen was there as well, but he was with his family and like, one of the producers, so we left him alone. Then Benedict emerged, uh, dressed really weirdly again, and waved at us and said Merry Christmas um, before leaving, surrounded by a swarm of fangirls. Uh, one super cool thing that happened was we saw one of the guest stars like at the side and we like approached him to ask for an autograph and he was so genuinely like surprised and it was really lovely and um, this is what he wrote on my autograph. To Lucy, this is the first autograph I have ever been asked for. Thank you so much. And it's like 
it was really cute. Um, and here, just enjoy some pictures of the rest of my time there. She said, she said, she said, I will never be your queen. Side note, I wasn't just drinking tea to see more English, um, it's really cold in my house so this is keeping me warm.